Hi everybody, hi boys and girls. For this video, I'm going to draw um, a Shopkins character, and that's uh, Puppycorn is going to be the, the little Shopkins character that I'm drawing for you today. And uh, we're going to have our paper portrait or vertical, okay? Portrait is also known as vor vertical, and that's your paper going up and down like this. Make sure you don't have anything on the table underneath your paper. No little eraser bits to mess up your drawing, okay? And uh, this little drawing is, um, I'm not, I'll, I'll have to be honest here, I'm not super familiar with the Shopkins, but I get a lot of requests during class time, Miss Fink, draw this, Miss Fink, draw this, and a lot of the kids lately have said that they like the Shopkins, okay, so today that's what we're going to do, and for Poppycorn, Poppycorn uh, is a tall kind of a little Shopkins figure, so that's why we have our paper going up and down like this, and we're going to start with a line that's kind of diagonal, okay, kind of diagonal, comes comes down at the bottom, I went in too far at the bottom there, really, like, like what is that, Miss Fink, are you, are you losing it today, or what's happening? <clears throat> Anyway, two lines kind of far apart. You're going to have your other line is going to be, the bottom of it's going to be about over here. So we're going to start and draw our diagonal line down to there like that. A little bit crooked, but that's okay. If you want, you can use a ruler, okay, and make them perfectly straight. As you can see, mine are definitely not perfectly straight. This one's a little bit straighter than the other one, but I'm not I'm not real worried about super straight lines today. Uh, you can definitely use your ruler and do your straight lines if you want to. Okay. The next step after we've gotten our sides established is we've got five little five little curved lines, and the way I'm going to do these is I'm going to go one on each side, one, two, okay, and then a little tiny bit taller for the next two, okay, a little bit, a little bit more in like that, okay, so I got one, two, three, four, and then our tallest one right in the middle, okay. So we've got an uneven number, so it's it's kind of hard to guesstimate it, I know. Um, if it was an even number, if we had four, we could draw a line right down the middle and then divide it into two pieces on each side and we'd have four, right? But for this one, we've got five, all right? And then the next step is we come down a little bit and we're going to draw. And for this step, you might want to use a pencil. Um, I suggest you do that. Take a pencil and draw a circle, kind of a big-ish circle right here, and you can just barely sketch it. See? Barely, barely. I'm holding the pencil like halfway back. Barely sketch, not dark, because we want to be able to erase this, okay? And do a circle right in the middle. And then right inside that circle, another circle. Just follow along your outside edge. Sketch, sketch, super light. All right? Ninja, quiet, super light lines. Okay? We are not pressing down hard. When you press down hard, that makes it hard to erase. Okay? So super light sketch there with our two circles okay then we can go over it with our sharpie once we get our circles pretty much the way we want them and we can turn our paper like that if that helps turn your paper 
don't don't be afraid to do that because if you want to get your circle kind of decent there which mine isn't the best circle in the whole world but we're just doing a quick kind of a drawing today like this okay then the next step is drawing it and this is a lot easier if you turn your paper on the side like this turn it side to side or landscape or horizontal okay it's a lot easier you come down about about an inch or so below your circle thing there and draw a curved line across and then right below that another curved line across and try to keep that space between them pretty pretty even and consistent across your little puppy corn popcorn box right there okay all right next step let's do our lines coming down from here down to here okay and these lines here are going to get interrupted by that circle all right and you can use a ruler to do this too you can put your ruler here and kind of say okay I want to come down here and I'm gonna my five points are gonna be like right here right here right here and right here it's actually four points it's gonna be five sections but we only draw four lines to create those five sections okay so if you draw if you put four little dashes or little lines going straight up little vertical lines like that then you can line that up between your point here coming down and that right there so if I line my ruler up right beside it and right beside it I just go straight down to that point see I'm gonna do the same thing here right beside that point not right on it because really because your sharpie is a makes a pretty thick line so if you go right on top of that point it's actually going to be to the right of the line and we don't want to do that so we have to do what we call compensate we're going to compensate for the thickness of this line that this sharpie makes and come back back away from the center just a little bit not way over here not way over there but right there to the edge of that point and then just like that to the left side of that little mark but when we draw this line down we have to remember to stop right there and then continue from here down okay so we're just gonna take our time and look where we need to draw the lines look where they need to go and then that's what we do I'm gonna make this a little thicker here because that one part of the top of the line was really thick <clears throat> and it just didn't look good Sphinx you you make mistakes and right on camera why don't you edit those out well you know why because I want you guys to see that everybody makes mistakes in art okay Leonardo da Vinci made mistakes Pablo Picasso made mistakes Frida Kahlo made mistakes okay so again we're gonna go a little bit to the left of our point there a little bit to the left of our little line right there our circle interrupts our line so we just have to be careful and stop at our circle and then continue our line like that okay one more time to the left of that point right there just a little bit and a little tiny bit left of our line right there and we've got our lines going across okay let's do our little Shopkins kind of logo thing here 
This one is a curly Q line that goes around like that. Okay. Then we've got another curly Q line that goes around and hooks up at the top right there. It starts about right here and goes around, around, around and stops like that. Okay. There, I know that's a, a weird shape to make, um, but if you practice that and just, just look at the curly Q, the top curly Q, that's all you have to draw first, just, just that right there. Don't worry about the rest of it. Start in the middle, go around to the right, up, 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 around, 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 and down, and stop at the bottom of your original curly Q, that little curly Q right there little curve line stop at the bottom right there don't go past it too far okay and then this is the same exact thing upside down really so if you turn your paper upside down you do the same thing curly Q curly Q around and stop right there at the base of the curly Q okay that's all that is just two it's actually a spiral kind of a line Spiral. I love that word. Spiral. Okay. You can. Have you ever seen a spiral staircase or a DNA molecule? It it does this kind of thing and it twists around itself and it goes in a in a pattern like this. If you look down at the top of it. Okay. So spiral is a really good, really good term that you need to learn for art and for lots of other things too. Okay. All right. Continuing on, we've got our base of our box. Let's go in just a little bit on each side. Okay. Not much. See, that's not even really as wide as my fingertip. Okay about as wide as my the black part of the sharpie there okay not very much and then we're going to do two little we would call these semicircles okay two little rainbow shapes all right and that's those are about the size of the, the ends of my fingers look at that do, 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 do. see not super big just two little rainbow shaped things going on there and we're going to close in the bottoms of those and those make her little feet okay and then super simple close up our shape making sure that we get that middle line as even with those outside two lines as possible okay all right next step is we're going to do her two little arms two curved lines coming out from the middle of this see this bottom portion of the box okay portion is another good word I like that word portion just really means part okay it's part of okay so the bottom portion or the top portion means bottom part or top part, which sounds a little bit smarter if you use the word portion instead of part. May I have a portion of your pizza, please? Okay. All right. So anyway, back to poppycorn. Two curved lines like this, but then we're doing an upside down U. Upside down U. Okay, they're this they're the same shape on both sides, and that's why for me to show you guys how to do this, it's a little bit easier for me to say curve line up, curve line up, upside down U, upside down U. When you draw this upside down U, it's easier for your brain if you come right over here and go okay upside down U. It's easier for your brain to say, oh yeah, I just did that right over here. 
and I can do it again right over here almost exactly the same as I did it over here just facing the other way right but if you draw the whole thing over here and then try to go over here and draw the whole thing if it's if it's three or four parts or so of that of a you know if we divide it up into different portions right um, it's, to me it's just a little bit harder maybe it won't be maybe you can draw the whole thing and then go over here and draw the whole thing and they'll look just alike but everybody's brains work differently okay so you draw it the best way you know how let me make these little curve that's our little arms sticking out okay on both sides and then we've got two huge big huge eyeballs that if you if you watched the SpongeBob video we talked about the word bisect and we when you bisect something that means you pretty much cut it in half or divide it in half right by sect okay you cut it into two parts two equal parts all right if you give yourself draw a, a nice super light line there with a pencil okay and then maybe even see where these lines come down here okay maybe even draw a little guideline for yourself super light super super light okay please practice that please please practice super light drawing every time you get a chance to draw on a piece of paper see how light of a pencil mark you can make see how light you can color with it for a, a, a strip about that wide okay and then the next strip color just a little little tiny bit force your the pencil down a little bit harder okay and then the next one this is what they do in, in art school okay little little tiny bit darker right and then a little tiny bit darker than that see if you can make four at least four different shades these are shades all coming from the same pencil okay but what we're doing when we're sketching is we're, we're using this one this first one super super light okay back to poppycorn the reason I did this is because her eyes do not come past this point right here in the middle of the box okay so she's got big round circles like that for her eyes but we do not want to get too close to the middle because then we're not really drawing as close to the original character image as we can and see now I can erase that it's like super easy to erase because I didn't didn't even really press down at all okay two big big circles we've left room up here for our two little curved eyebrows and then I don't really know like I said I'm not super familiar with Shopkins um, so I don't really know I'm assuming these are eyelash lines but she also has two little curved these are more straight lines sticking up and there's two little curved ones come down the bottom for like eyelashes I'm assuming okay and then there's a circle here in the left upper side of the circle and a smaller one in the right lower part of her eyeball same thing over here medium size in the upper left side 
smaller in the lower right side okay and then one last step for the eyeballs we draw a crescent moon across the bottom of each eye and there's about four one two three four lines one two three four in each one of those okay and that's the whole entire thing done except for our popcorn okay and our popcorn is just like a big line big uh, rainbow shape and then a smaller one and then a couple of little ones and then a big one like that it's almost like clouds right but when you color this it's gonna be yellow like buttered popcorn okay but you just keep going like make a little little rainbow shape right there bumpity bump rainbow shape bumpity bump like that little rainbow shapes all over and then like that and then just a few in the in the inside of those to look like more popcorn is just piled all inside this box right this goes like a couple of them like that one like this over here and another fluffy piece of crunchy popcorn right there maybe a little just a little curve line there and let's put another one kind of like right there and I kind of feel like there should be one there and one kind of like that okay so guess what we just drew oh wait wait oh my god Miss Fink you almost forgot her mouth we have to do the mouth okay little curve line like this then tiny curve line and tinier curve line okay then almost a sideways kind of a U shape a U going at an angle like that and a little curve inside there for her tongue and she's actually got which I'm gonna do in pencil right now she's actually got a little tiny tiny white spot there for like a highlight on her tongue so when I color that pink which actually I'm going to do right now to show you when I color this pink I'm not going to color inside that circle and then I can go back with my eraser and just barely go over top of that with the eraser to get rid of most of my pencil and then if I have to go back over top so <clears throat> you can see what I'm talking about even if it's kind of hard to see on camera um, a little highlight on her tongue so all this in here you color all this black all this black here okay and you've got red white red white red yellow on your popcorn green inside here um, this is actually red here and then green there and she got like pink blush kind of uh, coloring around her eyes there it's super super cute okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and color these in really quick because it looks not so great with her eyes not colored I'll, I'll leave you with that impression um, so we got you know she's she's super cute and I know it's a, a bunch of different steps, um, but if you can 
just be patient with yourself use a ruler if you really want to get the lines nice and neat and nice and straight um, give yourself time to do this drawing have fun with it but give yourself the time that it'll take because it's a, you know it's a bunch of different components you got your popcorn you got your box you got your logo you got facial features you got some little arms and little feet and, and stuff like that okay so give yourself time don't rush it practice 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 thank you so much for spending these last 26 almost minutes with me and I hope you had a great time and I will see you soon in the next video thanks so much